Good evening, everyone. Tonight I thought I would give my finger that has an aneurysm on it and it's sore a break and instead show you this piano that I'm rebuilding and just give you a couple of ideas of what has to happen when I'm working on it. I'm putting a new set of hammers on it along with trying to make it salvageable in, in many other ways because there's so much wrong with it. It's unbelievable. It's a 42, 41 and a half inch high Yamaha and uh, uh, the hammers are so bad that it's as though somebody had put some kind of a hardening product in them and just ruined them. But this is the sound that you get from them when they're bad. <laughs> are making a huge difference. Here's what a new hammer looks like. Made in Germany, they're Abel hammers, and they're beautifully made. And uh, so when you hear the difference, like if I try and show you, there's no dampers on right now because I'm rebuilding the dampers as well. And that it's just unreal but when you when you rub them enough you can these ones don't seem to be coming up very good the piano I think was brought over on a ship out on the dock out on the deck rather than inside so but anyway you can see how they used to be shiny that's where the dampers were before and uh, so Anyway, I took, uh, I worked on the dampers. The felt on the backs were so bad and dipped in really far. So I turned them around, took them each felt off and, and turned it around so that, so that the uh, healthy felt is going to be where the spoon pushes on it to move the damper away from the wire because the new felt that you get is way too thin and it doesn't, it's not gonna work. So, but the, uh, the actual dampers work fine on this piano, so, but there's so many other things. The back checks are these felts here and, and the buckskin that's in behind that, it's all badly worn in the middle section. So I'm gonna have to see if I can get more of that. But for each hammer, I, take, I took off every second one so that I can get the travel the same, so that they parallel to the one beside it, so this one this one and this one you see to try and get them to travel the same and then they'll strike on the same on the two wires evenly and not clash with another hammer with another note but uh, you have to send away you see the original uh, one hammer from each section the end section like this end one and, and this end one and the same in the middle section and then also in the in the treble section and that's how they know to bore them correctly that, so that when you put them on the doweling, they're correct. But then the doweling is a little too thick and you've got to sand that all down. Each, each note is a very big job. <laughs> but um, I just thought I'd show you some of that. But you see the hammers, they get so grooved. You can just see what they're like that that stops the vibration. It doesn't help it at all. And hammers come like, like this, you see, in the whole set. You get one hammer like this, you see, made in Germany. And uh, 
Each one is numbered. They give you an extra couple of hammers uh, so that if something goes wrong. And uh, it's just a huge job, but I got 18 of them on today in the base, so I'm quite proud of that <laughs> accomplishment. I'd never put on hammers before. So uh, maybe I'll play it for you sometime when I get it all back together. Uh, there's, there's, the, there's the keys there. They're all cleaned. You see there's a capstan on the end of each, of each key. And the capstan is, is uh, I'm trying to get this near the camera. <laughs> there. You see? And I polished all those, 88 of those. And um, it's, then you have to adjust them. You see, the, that little capstan gets turned. I'm just trying to move this stuff around so that I can get in and show you. When you when you um, regulate, you see, you have to get in there, and and uh, well, I lift the key right out. Like I take the key. Let me see if I can show you. Take the, take the key out like that. You see, and and then I turn that. There's a hole in that capstan, so I can put my all which is this thing here, into that hole and just turn that capstan to bring, so that as you raise it, it brings the hammer up to the right point when it's in its rest position. Because if it's down too low, then you get what's called lost motion. You start the key down about that far before it even starts the hammer forward. But now it's starting it instantly as I start to depress the key. So you get rid of the lost motion that way. And uh, um, there's a tool, this thing here, with that little end on it like that. You can see that. And it goes down in, in here. And you turn that and that adjusts how close the hammer comes to the wire. Because it should come about like that. And uh, when it doesn't, it's coming maybe about that far and then falling back and you'd lose all your power. Uh, so I've brought that back on each of these now, uh, these 18 keys. <laughs> and uh, so you take, when you're removing them, you take every second one off so that you still have something to, to judge for the angle so that you know that you're, that you're parallel to the original hammers so that they strike evenly. Because when you get to three wires, as you have in, in this part here, where you can't, here I can show you this way, the three wires for each note. And it has to be equal on each of the three. The hammer has to strike equally on each of the three wires, or you will miss, miss out on the power of your instrument. So, I hope that gives you a few ideas. You see how I've, how I've, uh, I've got them all, I took every second one off uh, all the way through and then I'm just coming along now bringing them all up. So anyway, it's a fun project and uh, we'll keep at it and I'll let you hear when it's all done. <laughs> Have a good night now. Bye-bye.